Hello friends, welcome to another dynamic cohort analysis video. I did two videos on uh, cohort analysis, part one in the video uh, where we uh, did a, a first date, sale date of a category and then calculated a column in the sales table, in the fact table, uh, what was the age from the first sale date for each category and then calculated the uh, year and then we uh, visualize the data on the year one, year two, year three, year four, uh, based on their percentage. In the part two video, which came out yesterday, uh, we did it more dynamic. We created a table which contains, uh, like, uh, a based on number of days, which we can now maintain anywhere and can make it scalable, like, uh, first 30 days, first 60 days, first 90 days, or whatever you want, you can now have that table and it will drive your cohort analysis. But one part in that video was also, it was great uh, analysis and uh, good comparison when comparing the sales between the different product categories. And uh, the one uh, challenge in that one was, is like if you really, if we did on the product category. For example, we have the same need for the a customer or geography or any other dimension we have in our uh, data model. Like what would be the solution for that? Do we need to create first sale date for each dimension let's say for customer and also for a, a country or a state or a province or whatever the use case is like how we can make it more dynamic at our solution so that work with any dimension in, in our model and uh, we don't have to create the first sale date for every dimension so in this video we are going to look into that how we can make it happen uh, I will put the link to the first two videos uh, in the description of this video. Do check out those videos because if you're looking into this video, uh, there are a few concepts which was discussed in the previous video. So it is important to watch the first two videos as well. Right here in the Power BI file, again, the same file I'm using, which we used in a, a, a part one and part two. And as you can see a, here, it, the, the left hand side matrix visual is based on the part one video where we have a, a static uh, year one, year two, year three, year four. And uh, if you remember, we look into the vests uh, and the year one, it is only showing $65 sales. Whereas if we look into the, the second uh, matrix visual on the right hand side, uh, it is based on the table in the metadata, which where we maintain the cohort analysis. A, a, a metadata and that's what we used and if we look in the first year for the vests uh, it is 34,000 and I explained in the a part 2 video why there is a difference because we are now comparing based on number of days not based on the uh, difference between the first sale date and then calculate the year 1, year 2, year 3. In this video again um, we are use, going to use the same uh, cohort metadata table but right now our solution is only working for the product category. How we write our measure that it work with any dimension and that's what I'm going to show in this video. So well, let's uh, actually what we need to do is to make it happen. We need to first find out at any granularity or any dimension we are looking at the first base of our cohort analysis to find out for that cohort or that dimension when the first sale happened. Once we know when the first sale happened, let's say we are looking at the product category, we need to find out when the product category first sale happened. If we're looking at the customer, we need to find out when the customer first sale happened. If we're looking at a country, we want to find out when the first sales for that country happened. So that was the base for the calculation. And then from there, we calculate the kind of aging based on the first sale date and for the each order date, and then uh, put in a different uh, buckets based on the cohort table. So it means what we need to do is we need to write a measure which give us the first sale date uh, depending on what dimension we are looking at. To do so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start write a measure here. So uh, dynamic um, cohort analysis. Again, this is name of the measure. Uh, as I said, the first thing is what we need to find out is when the first sales uh, date happened, depending on what uh, granularity we are looking at. In my model, I have a product, I have a product category, I have a customer, I have a, a geography, they all connected to the sales table. So what we need to do here is first, we need to find out the first date 
um, depending on um, the, the, the dimension at which we are looking at the data. So what we need to do is let's uh, store it in a variable called first date. So what that measure is going to look like, calculate minimum of sales order date. Now, what we need to do is we need to remove because let's say if we are filtering our sales date on a year 2020 and we have a data from 2015 uh, to let's say as of today and a filter on year 2020, if we just do the minimum sales order date, it will filter or based on whatever is currently filter applied on the sales table. But in this case, because we want the first sales date, does not matter when, uh, how the sales table is uh, filtered. So it means we don't want our sales table to be filtered by a slicer or anything else. So what we can do here is we can remove filters. Um, again, I did a video on remove filters in the past. Um, do check out those videos. And uh, what we need to do is we need to remove any filter coming on the sales table. You can remove the filter on a column or you can also uh, remove filter on a, on a table. So in this case, we, what we want is any filter apply on the sales table just to remove it. So get the full sales table. And now once we do this, uh, will this work? Let's first check out what we get with this is. And uh, I'm going to return the first date here. So, so let's first visualize this and understand what's happening here. And uh, if you remember in the product category, we already calculated a column. So I will visualize this data on the product category for now because it's easy to compare. So if you remember in the previous video in product category, we already had a column called first sales date. So this gives us the first sale date of the each category, right? So this is what it is currently as it looks like right now. Maybe I change it to uh, MMDDYYY. So it's, there's no timestamp in here. So now once I create this, so it gives me, okay, bike racks, the first sale was in 2020 in January or uh, for bike stand, it was on 28th of December, 2019. So the new measure which we created dynamic, uh, call it dynamic uh, uh, cohort analysis. So if we put this measure in our um, in our um, table uh, visual here, so what we want is to be that, that this measure should calculate the, the same result as what we have created a column in, in, in the previous videos. Uh, let's, uh, and the, as you can see right now, the challenge here is we are getting the same date 29 December 2017. And the reason behind that is because we removed the filter on the sales table. It means any filter applied on uh, through the category on the from the row contacts going to the sales table is removed. And that's why whatever the minimum sale is the first sales ever on the sales table, it is showing us that. But this is not correct. We want the sales for the each product category, the first sales data product category. So the one challenge with this, this one, so the one, one thing what we can do here is we don't need to remove the filters. So let's say the one argument will be, okay, why we are even removing the filter. So let's say we remove the filter. Uh, we remove that line and look at this measure now. The result will be correct in this case. And as you can see now, by cracks to, uh, when we calc through our calculated column, it is now 1st January, uh, 9th January, 2020. And similarly, from our measure, we are getting the correct date. But here is the challenge with the measure. Let's put, I uh, show you, um, the challenge here. Let's see if I go in a year column uh, in a date dimension, which is again linked with my uh, sales table. And if I slice it on, on a year column here on 2020 and look at the data now, the dynamic cohorts analysis is based on, based on the current, uh, now sales table is filtered based on the year 2020. And now we, our uh, dynamic cohort analysis, the date column in that measure is not in, it is, is incorrect. And the reason in, in, in respect to the measure, it is correct, but this is not what we want. We want our, does not matter what filter, as I said, does not matter what filter we apply in the sales table. We want to get the first sales date, removing all the filter. So the challenge here is if we are removing the filter on the sales table, which, which was the, uh, measure, uh, if we remove the filter, then for everything, we are getting the same uh, sale date. 
because we remove the filter so the row contacts of that uh, particular uh, product category now does not get applied to the sales table and does not get transitioned to the uh, filter contacts and that's why we're getting the same same date so now what what how we can solve for this so it's pretty simple and maybe you guys have seen it already in previously what we can do here is uh, we get the minimum sales order we remove filter so we are removing all the filters coming on the sales table then we are going to apply the filter back on the sales table so how are we going to apply the filter back so what you can do is this is the magic part of this is just apply the product category or actually product table because uh, product category is part of the product table um, is product category filtering products and products are filtering uh, sales table so if I do this so if I'm just writing the product table here it means the table is getting applied back on the sales table so let's see what happens here perfect so we got the dates what we are looking for now even so now this this is the first date of sales column which is calculated so this is the correct and now our uh, measure is also giving us the correct date and even we filter it on the year does not matter this date this measure is turning the same value let me remove the filter and we know our this column is correct because this is what we already used in the past and this one is the supposed to match with the one which we calculated in the past in the part one video so so this is now correct does not matter when i am filtering um, uh, or does not filter the sales table doesn't matter how it gets filtered but it is in the context of the product category it is always going to give me the first sale date now it, so that, that, that this is perfectly perfectly fine again the, the that's the first part of the video now the another question is like okay you know what i want my uh, cohort analysis to be dynamic doesn't matter it's not necessarily i'm always looking at the product category i might be looking at the country as well so let's change this uh, instead of using the product ca uh, category. So we put the country on our uh, uh, in this new matrix visual and remove. And now we run into the same challenge again. Um, the, 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 uh, we, we have the country, but now we're getting the first sales date of uh, uh, same date for the each country. And the reason behind that we're getting the uh, same date for each country is because uh, if we go back to our uh, our Mayer, which is dynamic cohort analysis. So what we're doing is we are removing the filter and we are applying the filter back of for the products only and uh, and any dimension which column coming from the product tables, it's working fine. But now we, now we are using country, not product anymore. And that's why we're getting these dates. So what we need to do is, so to make it dynamic, what we need to do is we need to put all the dimension table names in here. So I, I'm not going to put the country, but I'm going to put the customer because customer is the one uh, which has the direct relationship with the uh, with the sales table and the, and the geography uh, in which the country column is, is connected with the, it has a relationship with the customer table. So if I do the customer, so country is filtering customer table and customer is filtering the sales table so if i put the filter back on the customers i think that's uh, yeah customers so just a table name here so let's look at these dates now for each country here you go so australia the first date is 29 december turned out to be canada is also the same date but whereas the france is uh, sorry germany is the first sales date in 2018 on 1st january 2018 United Kingdom is 31st December 2017. So now it does not matter what, uh, whether I use a product dimension or I use a country dimension, if I have more dimensions in my table, what I just need to do is, and I just need to add the dimension column, a uh, dimension name here or the table name here, and it will always give me the first date if I use any column from that dimension. So this is pretty much solve uh, the, the core of this video. Once we know the first date, and then we can write out our rest of the measures. I'm just going to uh, write down what the measure is going to look like. So again, if you seen my yesterday's video, if has one filter uh, on our cohort table, which is uh, cohort uh, column, only then we do this calculation. So sum max, what we're doing in this particular calculation, again, just uh, I already explained this in yesterday's video. What we're doing in this is we are uh, finding 
the number of days uh, that falls within that bucket of the cohort um, bucket and then we are using uh, applying the sales to that so what we did in yesterday was um, so we find the number of days so what we did was uh, date difference in this case, in, in our previous video, we use the column from the product category table. But in this case, we have a already, because we are not now using the product category. It could be any, any. it could be customer, it could be country, it could be uh, other dimensions. So now we are using the first date, what we already calculated here in the variable. So what we're going to do here is a first date and then sales order date. Oh, sorry. Some max. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So what I'm going to do is never gave the table expression here. So the first is okay. Sales. What days? Date difference. First date. Sales or date day. And now we know the uh, for each row wh what is the aging. And now here what we did was if days is greater than minimum of cohort minimum days and days are less than equal to uh, minimum of max days then only so then then it means this particular uh, line of the sales table is fall within that bucket of the cohort what we are looking at in the context and then uh, apply the sales to that and then if has one filter if there is no filter on the cohort then just use the regular sales so this will give us the sales so let me compare this year what we did yesterday to confirm that we get the same result. So we have a product category and then what we can what we did yesterday was on on columns. Uh, we have the cohort. Uh, let's use the matrix visual here. And then uh, we created a year yesterday. Uh, year, yeah, this was the one which we created yesterday called category cohort sales. So let's use that one. So this category cohort sales, which was yesterday we created was only uh, going to get used for the product category because we are using the a first sales date from the product category table. So, so we were getting some, this is the number we were getting. So dynamic cohort sales, let's put it in the visualization here as well. So here, as you can see for bike racks, the, the, the yesterday my year, which is purely based on the column on the first sale dates in the product category, we get the sales of 1968. And then uh, for the dynamic cohort analysis, we are also getting the same sales. And similarly, we are uh, getting it for, uh, so this is working as expected. Now, once we have this, uh, now it doesn't matter what uh, we have on X axis here on the rows, uh, it should work. Let's say, for example, if I go, uh, country and bring it on the rows and remove product category for it for example so what we are getting is uh, in the first 30 days this was the sale 30 to 60 days this was a sale and, and so forth so on so now it does not matter whether we're using a dimension column a column from the product table or from the customer table this is more dynamic we are not tied up with the calculating the first sale date for each uh, dimension and then uh, writing these measures again for everything uh, now this one measure will work with any dimension and we will use the cohort table uh, for the segmentation or for the clustering and uh, everything will work i hope you find this video useful so this this was the third video in the series and um, we went from the static to the dynamic and now really a scalable solution let me know what you guys think about it until next video have a great day Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe my channel. Bye for now. Thank you.